so this week I decided to give myself a challenge, take part in my very first game jam. And as my luck goes, Bracky's game jam just started, so heh, why not take part, right? So I entered and joined the Discord, and now I'm set. Now we just need to wait for the theme. So the theme has been released, and it's holes. Like, what the f is holes? And what the f am I meant to do about holes? Like, what, make a game about cheese which has holes? No, that's just dumb. And I ain't making a f golf game. So with no time to waste, I opened up Photoshop and started planning my game. But this was harder than I thought. I spent like an hour and couldn't think of anything. So instead, I went to my boyfriend and asked if he had any ideas. And miraculously, he did. And as my wise boyfriend once said, people like 3D and I like capture the flag. So make 3D capture the flag and people will be happy. So how the f do I make a 3D game? So I opened up Unity, played a YouTube tutorial and went to work. The initial setup wasn't hard, but I knew things were yet to come. I managed to make a player who can move and jump, but that's about it. So why not include a gun? Because guns are bad and people like bad, am I right? So I added a gun and now we have this mess of a world. Then I tried to implement a rotation for the gun, but just ended up getting a gun that is literal play-doh and bends in ways that it should not. So after like an hour of trying to fix the rotation, I managed to make it work and it was simpler than I thought. It was genuinely just like a line of code that I f spent an hour on. Great. But now we need aim, so like a crosshair would be nice, wouldn't it? Now I did this pretty easily with just a canvas and some images that are kind of like overlaid over the main camera, and that's about it. I overall cleaned up the whole project and added a few tests and blocks around. So then I basically added an ammo UI and a shooting mechanism. And basically, it looks great, apart from the fact that the projectiles are like literal fucking bouncy balls. All they do is bounce. You shoot it at a wall, it'll bounce. You shoot it at the ground, it bounces. It's just a ton of bang bouncing. And I also ensured that the gun actually shoots at the crosshair because that didn't happen before and that would basically defeat the point of the crosshair. Next, I decided to tackle the biggest challenge of this game, making it multiplayer. Now I didn't know where to start so I watched multiple tutorials and only used some bits from each video. This helped me grasp an idea of how networking worked in Unity. Overall, I ended up using Phantom Pun, which is an extension that helps with networking. So before doing this, I decided to change the player model to simple squares and rectangles. This is so that you can tell where the head is. I managed to create a simple server where players can join but no movement can be seen. You can only see the other character model. So I decided to use some quintillions to help me move the players and detect whether movement is made over the server. And then I did some more networking magic and bam we have a working server multiplayer thing. And now we need a map because currently we only have a panel that the player runs around on. And I know Obama said that panels are all you need in life, but I need something more. I don't want just a panel as a map. So let's go ahead and start creating that. So the map is now completed, but it looks kind of plain and bland, but I like it that way because I'm not a very creative person. Either way, if you do have any suggestions for cool map designs, go ahead and tweet them at me on my Twitter. There'll be a link in the description below. So now guys, I'm going to show you what the game looks like and kind of just give you a feel of the game. Now, don't get me wrong, this game is going to be still worked on by me, so there is quite a few things that I want to change. There is bugs and stuff, but this is my second ever game in Unity and my first ever 3D game, so be like gentle on me, I guess. <laughs> Please. Either way, I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. So if we go ahead and hit play, we can see this home screen which I showed you earlier. Now you can type your name and this will actually remember your name, so mine is just Zyger. We can click room list, but currently there is no rooms and no one's hosting, so let's go ahead and create a match ourselves. So we load into the game and this is what it currently looks like. I think it looks quite cool. Um, I went for a quite a simplistic design and I hope you guys like it. So basically we can just kind of run around and there would be other players here that you could shoot and it's just sort of like 1v1 or 2v2, depends how many players are in here in all honesty. But all these holes in the ground are basically holes in the ground, no, all these like tube things are for the whole theme of holes. So I didn't want to create like golf or holes in the ground or anything, so I created these long kind of tubes and technically it's a hole so we're counting it either way you can just kind of run through them and that's the whole kind of premise of it that you can just run around so that people can't find you and that you can quickly go ahead and shoot them so the whole map design um might change and if you guys have any suggestions go ahead and tell me now first thing i'm gonna have to fix is the jump is way too high at the moment so i'm gonna have to fix that up now on the grounds you'll be able to find these sort of like ak's now, there will be more guns as I kind of continue, but before I show you that, I'm going to show you the pistols. So I added these just for testing purposes, and you can see I added a little crosshair, changed the colour to pink, because I like pink. And basically, you can shoot like so. Now, what happens when you run out of ammo? Well, you can just press R and it will 
reload your gun. That will take some time and there is currently no animation but I'll be sure to add that as soon as possible. Now some of these holes you can just go through easily but for example this one you can't go through. Well you can if you slide. We have a cool sliding mechanism in the game where you can kind of slide around and you're 10 times faster and that's basically it. Now for the AK you can go ahead and if I un uncrouch run into it. Now this is what the AK looks like currently and it sprays quite fast so let's go ahead and press R and reload. Now this has a small little animation but the ammo is still broken on the side as you can see apparently I have none in my mag but 20 on here. Either way, this gun shoots like so, a lot faster, the fire rate is faster and it does more damage. Now the sliding with this works the same way, you can just go ahead and slide like so. Now um, you can go ahead and switch back to your weapon if you wish because sometimes you might not want to use the AK, you just use go ahead and use like the keys on your, um, like your, the number keys on your keyboard. So currently you can just go one or two because there's two guns in the game and this is the switch that you do when you switch guns. Pretty neat. Either way, I um, might also say these ladders you can't actually climb on. Sad, I know. Now there is another bar on the top, so the yellow bar is your HP and there's another bar. Well that is a jetpack and you can go ahead and fly. So um, currently I can go ahead and fly like so. When it runs out I can no longer fly and land on the ground and then it will refill. Quite simple and it works quite well. So this is the map design and you'll be able to play this with your friends basically, so if you go ahead and download this and all your friends have it, I'm going to quickly show you how you can host a game and how the multiplayer aspect works in the game. So I went ahead and created two instances of the game, so this is the one that I run and then the other one's on Unity itself. So let's go ahead and change my name because the other guy is called Gabby, um, Zyga sorry, so let's call myself Gabby which is my name. Now if you click on rooms list, you can see there's a room available because I went ahead and created another instance. Now currently this only shows as this weird long ass number, this is basically just just a number that is assigned to a room once you create it and it just keeps going up and up depending on it. Now what I'm going to do is before this game is released I'm going to make sure to go ahead and add so like create a room settings. This basically means you'll be able to change the name of your room and you'll also be able to assign how many different players you want because currently 8 is max. Anyway I can go ahead and double click it and I have joined. Now let's go ahead and find the other instance of the player. As you can see, the other player is right over here, so let's go ahead and jump up to him. Can I jump up? No, I cannot. Why can I not jump? <laughs> let's just fly up to him then. And here is the other player. Now I said the model is very basic, it's just squares and cubes. Now the gun does look quite out of place and it's quite big, but um, I'll be sure to change that. Anyway, I'm going to quickly show you what happens when you kill him, so I can keep shooting him. And he just respawned over there, and he is now dead. So you will respawn, and you can go ahead and keep shooting the player and until they respawn. Now the respawns will be random across the map, just to make sure that you can't really spawn camp them. Now I don't actually know what this guy is, so um, yeah, I've got no idea where he is. Either way, he will spawn somewhere on the map, and he is right over there and this is how the AK works on the player so let's quickly reload it and just shoot and he is now dead now you see all these different holes these will start to disappear with time and they happen there because it was a surface so you can see you can create them like just like right here so for example let's quickly switch to the gun and let's make a smiley face. Either way, that's basically what the game is right now. And I might show you some gameplay of me with my friends having fun on this game. And for now, this is it. So I will release it to you guys for you guys to play. But um, this game is still going to be under the works. So be sure to not kind of roast me for this game. And thank you so much for watching. And hopefully you'll see some gameplay right now if my friends wanted to play this with me. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Aye, 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 aye. Press R to reload, by the way. Right, Harry, Harry, oh look, here, look at me, look at me, I'm in the middle, I'm in the middle, Stark. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm in the middle, don't shoot me, Gabby, because you both you. Oh, and you can double click to, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a jetpack, you can double click. <laughs> Assassination, they call me a Mandalore. No! Gabby, you're a cow. Look, okay. <laughs> oh, my cow! <laughs> ah, get us shredded, both of you, Wait, hand up. I get it, I get it. Gabby. Oh, aiming down sight is wag. I know. <laughs> Why am I stuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Did I just kill you in that one bird? No, I was at the top shooting you guys as well. Fuck. Oh my god. Why is there sound? <laughs> god, I'm going. Can anyway do the same damage?
This oh, game is I'm just stuck. still under the I'm works. Stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let me put you out your misery. <laughs> what are you doing? Let me reload. I figured out how you can get stuck in walls, by the way. I got trapped into the abyss and I could see you. Alright, I'll go oh, infinitely. No, I'm not in the abyss. I'm, oh, I'm yeah, you might wanna abyss. you might wanna restart your game after that because basically when you fall you don't die yet. I tapped God. out! <laughs> no! I tapped out I'm halfway through the fight. Oh no I'm falling. Anyway guys, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below if you enjoyed and if you have any suggestions for the game. Either way, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Have a nice day.